Hey guys, welcome back for a long awaited, long overdue dining room makeover. This space has been so low on the to do list. It's been a little neglected since last December when we experienced a leak in our kitchen that flooded this entire room and caused us to have to rip up all of the flooring, take out all of the furniture, and then replace all of the floors, cabinets, countertops. And since we do have a kitchen that is an Eden style with the dining area attached to it and then also our laundry closet and our pantry at the far end of this kind of a long narrow kitchen and dining space. It's been a bit frustrating trying to figure out what to do in here and stay within our budget. All of these renovations have cost us so much money out of pocket, way more than we were anticipating and a lot of the work has been left unfinished finished so I've slowly had to go through room by room and finish up all of that myself, reset these spaces, and the dining room kind of just got knocked down the list. It's been a little bit difficult for me figuring out how I can have it flow and be cohesive with the rest of our home, make us feel comfortable in this space while also remaining functional for my family. But I finally come up with a few ideas for how I can zhuzh up this area while still being on a super tight budget. And that is all thanks to Timu so thank you so much to Timu for partnering with me on today's video. I have this huge Timu haul that I'm going to share with you and then we're going to work on making over this space, finishing up the dining area, doing something with this very large blank white wall, and then also putting together our coffee station in a way that doesn't feel too cluttered, serves a purpose, but also works within the rest of the kitchen and the dining area. Let's bring in my Timu order and I'll show you what I have in mind for this space. Don't worry, I will give you guys a better look at my haul and all of the items that I gathered for this dining room makeover in just a second. I just needed to unbox them first. But I did want to point out that this is my second order from Timu and I have been so impressed not just by how cheap the prices are, but also the quality of products that you get for such cheap prices. I feel like I've ordered quite a bit now. The first order was mostly kitchen organizational items. After we changed out our kitchen cabinets, I felt like I was working with a new space and just needed to update the organization in my cabinets and drawers and was shocked at the variety that was available on the Timu app, the quality of the items and how cheap they were compared to other retailers. So I did decide to order again and actually you guys recommended that I should check out their clothing and their fashion in that kitchen organization video. So the entire outfit that I'm wearing right now is from Timu and it's a total free people dupe. I feel like you cannot tell the difference and it was pennies on the dollar compared to free people. And then every single thing that I was unboxing Boxing here I was just so happy with all of this was under $200 to completely transform this space and it doesn't look it but all of that to say that if you've been wanting to place an order with Timu I'll have a link down in my description box where you can download the Timu app completely for free and also make use of a hundred dollar coupon bundle to stack on top of their already cheap prices Okay, so let me show y'all my haul. First up, I got this gorgeous floral print rug. It's a five foot round rug to go underneath of the table. Only $47 when I ordered it. That is so cheap, so budget friendly. And it is really soft, but it's low pile, so it'll be easy to keep clean. And I'm pretty sure the listing said that it's machine washable, so perfect for a dining space. I can just throw it into the washer if it gets stained. I also ordered this gorgeous jug vase for the center of the table we've had this here for a while now and it just always feels very overcrowded i wanted to simplify this space so i ordered this it's beautifully textured it's kind of got a little speckling detail the handle is so pretty and it's a decent size it's i would say it's a medium size vase this was only a few dollars and it looks like it could be out of a pottery barn catalog it is just absolutely stunning and then i ordered 
all of the floral options to see which one I liked best in there. I'm gonna do kind of a statement greenery in the center, and then we'll bring out these things when we're actually eating, but otherwise they'll be tucked away, and we'll just have this out for decor. For our coffee station, I got these glass espresso mugs. They're so beautiful. They've got the double glass thing going on, which makes just very pretty coffee, and Derek has been really into making espressos and lattes and things since he got the Nespresso maker for Christmas last year, so I thought this would be perfect for the fall season just to feel cozy and enjoy drinking our coffee. We also ordered these coffee stir spoons or iced tea spoons and this would just be nice for being able to stir in our creamer and things like that without having to use throwaway ones these are like reusable dishwasher safe and they're very very pretty and then for this wall right here that is an accent wall i did that recently but otherwise it's just very blank i went ahead and got these sconces and we're gonna do a little gallery wall with some accent lighting and i just thought this would be perfect these are absolutely beautiful like the quality of these i was not expecting it they are heavy they're so nice no imperfections at all it was easy to put them together and they don't have to be hardwired into the wall which i really like look at this detail but this color will tie in our sink faucet and the future hardware for our cabinets whenever we do get that this is just an accent that kind of flows throughout our house so it'll help the space feel more cohesive but anyway i think the first thing that i want to do is lay down this rug and put together like a little floral centerpiece in the table and then we'll move on probably to that accent wall because i'm so excited about it and setting up the coffee station and kind of bringing this space all together and don't you worry Towards the end, we will be figuring out a solution to close up this laundry and pantry space. Okay, so I know that the question of faux florals versus live plants indoors can be a little bit of a touchy subject and a bit of a hot take, but I have got to say that I have probably the blackest thumbs and that means that faux florals are my go-to. And one trick that I've learned to make them look more realistic and lifelike is to bend and twist the stems and separate all of the buds and the stems themselves instead of leaving them all clumped up and smushed together and it just gives them this natural lifelike presence and also allows you to use less stems for a fuller arrangement as you can see these are absolutely gorgeous and they look like i went and forged them from outside i cannot believe how realistic these stems look and they were only a couple of dollars like these greenery ones the color variation in them mimics like nature like it looks like i just went and plucked this off of a tree even the fragility of them and how they're all kind of bent in different ways it just it looks so realistic to me and these magnolia stems are stunning it's actually only one stem but it's got three different blooms on it and it just looks like i went and cut it down from my neighbor's tree my neighbor has this gorgeous magnolia tree and it it literally looks like i could have just foraged it from outside 
it's insane that those are only a couple of dollars. They're so pretty, but now having that statement in the center of the table makes this wall look extra blank. So we're gonna work on that now. I have these frames, there's four of them that we haven't used in any other room of the house, so I thought why not create a gallery wall in here. This space is too small to put a piece of furniture here. Originally we wanted our coffee station, but this is our pantry and the walkway is so narrow so instead of putting furniture here and having it be in the way i thought we could do something else and we'll just have a gallery wall full disclosure this idea was not original i actually got it from lauren midgley when she did her dining room makeover a couple of years ago and i loved it so much so i'm going to recreate that in my own way i've got these frames they've got a wood tone frame around them and they are matted to an 8 by 10 and then I edited and printed out these photos from Walgreens. I took most of these pictures, three of them, in Disney. And our family just loves Disney so much and we've kind of been homesick for it lately. So I thought this would be perfect here. I made them black and white so that the colors wouldn't detract or overwhelm the space. But this is the tree of life. Animal Kingdom is my favorite park and this is why. It's just so gorgeous. Look, all of the animals are carved into the tree of life and then these are real animals just hanging out here. It's just such a stunning view. So I did Animal Kingdom's tree of life. I also took this photo. This is Cinderella's castle in Magic Kingdom. And then I took this photo. This is the Epcot ball. I'm sure it has a different name, but we just always call it the Epcot ball. And then this one I had to pull from online, but next trip we go, I'm going to make it a point to take a Hollywood Studios photo, but this is Hollywood Boulevard. So anyway, I'm going to get these put into the frames to create a gallery wall, and then I'm going to have these sconces on either side of them just to elevate the look and make it look way more designer and put together, and not just like four random photo frames. As I said earlier, this is not my original idea. I did get this idea from Lauren Midgley, gosh, two or three years ago now. She shared a dining room makeover, and still to this day, that video is in my top five favorite videos I've ever watched on YouTube. It's just so good. But she created a gallery wall in her dining space and filled the frames with black and white photos of places that were special and significant to her family and her relationship. And and I just thought that was so unique and so clever and I knew I wanted to recreate it in our dining space and I'm so glad I did. It turned out absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much to Lauren for this brilliant idea and if you aren't already subscribed to Lauren's channel, you definitely should be. She has some of the best ideas and best content here on this platform. Okay, so I definitely underestimated how much wall space these frames would take up. And if I put the sconces on the other side, this side would be fine. But this side, I'm worried it would get hit by the pantry door whenever we open the pantry door. But I'm not quite sure. So I was thinking I could either them on this wall here still on either side and just risk it with the pantry door or I have another idea this is the view from the other side of the dining table and we've got this area here where it goes into like our playroom family room area but I was thinking I could put the sconces on either side and treat this door frame almost like a picture frame into that room. What do you think? So I could either put them there or I could put them here and risk the pantry. Okay, so over here on this gallery wall, I put the shades on and this is what it would look like over here. So this side is like totally fine 
gorgeous, whatever. This side, my right side, is the one that I'm worried about. We have bifold doors for our pantry, and I'm just worried that it would knock into this and hurt the shade. So then, let me show you the visual on the other side, and you can tell me what you would do if this was your dining room. Okay, so then on this side, it would look more like this. I think this is pretty. Me too. You like this? Mm -hmm. I think this is really pretty. Although we probably would have to put it out just a little bit. Can you move yours over just a little bit? Not up, just over. Yeah, for the Christmas plan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The garland. But I think this looks pretty. I think I might um, use some really big command strips just to put on here for now instead of screwing it in and keep them up here and see how it looks. You, do you like that idea? Sounds like I cannot believe how beautiful these are. They are so pretty. Of course, I didn't measure anything yet. I just stuck them up with command strips to see what we think. What do you guys think? Would you keep these here or not? But gosh, they're so pretty. They look so high-end and designer. Like the quality is just amazing. The coloring is beautiful. They're not too yellow like that really almost orangey looking gold they're just the perfect brassy brushed gold color you guys will have to let me know what do you think of this this idea of like using the doorway as a frame for that room obviously when it's all cleaned it'll look like a picture okay i'm getting really excited about this now i honestly think this is how i'm gonna leave it, it just looks so pretty and then on this side we have the frames. Don't worry, we are gonna get to that. We're gonna do something about it, but just like picture it, like just panning over this way. It's so gorgeous. The statement greenery on the kitchen table. I'm like getting so excited, but now we need to flip around to the other side of like the actual kitchen area with our coffee station and do something about this. We've got this blank space on the wall right here so i have an idea for that and then this is just so crowded it's honestly like not really functioning very well so sometimes it's better to just simplify things and i think that's what we're going to do here but you can see like this is just too much going on here our nespresso machine in general takes up quite a bit of room but then we've got this large mug rack with large mugs and this bigger tray and just so many things on it so we definitely need to simplify that and then also figure out something for this just blank wall space right here to kind of come together. And this is the view. Just wanted to show you guys when you back up in our dining area, like you see it all together. So we want it to work with what we've got going on over here, but still function for its actual intended purpose. Okay, don't mind my face or the mess in the background, but the idea behind putting this windowpane mirror is to mimic the look 
of a window on the other side. So what will happen is because this space has such limited natural light sources, we have one window in this entire like long narrow space, no windows over in the dining area no windows on this wall so this will mimic the look of a window and it will reflect back the natural light so it'll bounce back this way and this way and it will just create a lighter brighter space it also just looks like a window there in the wall but i did a little bit of rearranging i felt like it was missing some greenery so i pulled that arrangement from the table and put it on this little tray here with our pods and our new coffee spoons these are so pretty and then i just moved our syrup over here with one of these mugs and put the other mug right here so it's ready for us to brew a latte and i love this it is so beautiful but anyway so then that kind of works with the rest of this space so far since I moved that greenery from the table. I just put a vase and some stems that I already had on the center of the table just as a placeholder, but look at this, you guys. It is really coming along. It's so pretty. I'm so excited about it. The only thing we really have left to do now is come back tomorrow and paint these doors. Okay, so we have rehung the laundry closet and pantry doors here and whew, that was a task all on its own. I'm so glad that they're finally up, but now I don't want to take them back off of the tracks and have to rehang them to paint them. So I'm going to attempt to paint these with them still hung on their tracks. Wish me luck. I hope that it's going to go well. They have been this kind of medium to dark toned blue based gray for as long as I've lived in the house. They match the previous cabinets which were painted by the previous owner. So unfortunately, I don't know exactly what color they are or were. But now that we have new cabinets and they're this crisp white and we're kind of slowly moving throughout the house, brightening it, lightening everything, making it feel bigger but still having these bold pops and just trying to create a more cohesive look and flow throughout the entire home as a whole these are sticking out like a sore thumb so i decided that i'm going to paint them natural cream by benjamin moore this is the accent color that i used in my entryway which is open with the living room so it's going to be a color that's repeating throughout our house and allow that to tie in it's a beautiful creamy neutral color that will complement the new rug that we have from timu and also the dining table and the chairs that we already have in here and just the vibe and aesthetic of the entire kitchen and house as a whole but it will break up this space instead of painting it the Swiss coffee like the rest of the walls in the kitchen and just having a very large stretch of white wall I thought this would be the perfect way to accent this space without it overtaking the rest of the room and still break up all of that white so this is the same gallon of paint that i used in our entryway and i had about a half a gallon left so this is another factor in why i decided to use this color we already have it so i don't have to buy any new paint but this is what it looks like and you can see compared to the stark white of this paint tray liner that it's a beautiful creamy kind of peachy yellow neutral and i just think that it will go perfectly with all of the different tones in this rug and it complements the table here and also the leather chairs and it'll just help to break up all of this white so my plan is to paint over everything that's gray of course but then I also wanted to paint over the white trim they the previous owners did not do that they had the gray doors and then the trim was white and you can see that it just kind of looks a little strange so I'm hoping that if I paint the trim as well. It will kind of frame it and make it make sense in this space.
Okay, so two coats of paint later, and I cannot believe how much that changed this space and just how this space has come together as a whole. I am so excited to show you how everything turned out, but first, I would love it if you would hit that like button if you've enjoyed today's video. It always helps my channel so much. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'd love to have you join my little YouTube family. Make sure that you check the links in my description box and check out Timu for all of the budget-friendly home improvement and home decor items of your dreams. Thanks to Timu, I was able to completely transform my dining space and coffee station for under $200. It does not get any better than that. But anyway, we are going to snap our fingers, get this all put back together, and then I'll share with you how this space turned out. Thanks so much for choosing to spend your time here with me today, and I hope that you guys love this just as much as I do. Just lay back and cry 